All right, everyone, welcome to Chart Attack. This is Vishal from Equity Guru, and today we're going to discuss what I am seeing on the equity markets. Uh, daily charts here. First, we'll take a look at the S&P 500, and as you guys can sort of see, it's not really been too exciting here. Um, it's just been one of these well, few weeks, actually. Uh, initially, what I wanted to see in November is actually I wanted to see a pullback here to 4560. Uh, and I would have been bullish, you know. I think we go down to 4560 uh, to end November, and then sometime in December, we get our Santa Claus rally. But I just think these markets needed that pullback after, you know, crazy sort of run through, uh, through October and uh, a bit here in November. Um, what we're watching now is obviously I just have our support and resistance levels here. Uh, if we get a close above previous record high closes, uh, we will continue higher. But as you guys can see on the four hour, let's go down to the four hour. Uh, we actually are seeing some large wicks here close to those high or record high levels. So perhaps that will continue to act as a resistance. And maybe some of you guys with a technical eye can sort of see what I'm seeing. Not really confirmed if it's going to happen. But here we go. We have our left shoulder. We have our head. Uh, perhaps we get our right shoulder and get a, a bit of a pullback. Uh, obviously, you know, markets uh, had a less liquidity because you have the Thanksgiving holiday in the States. Uh, people tend to take a break for that week and do their travels and stuff. So we expect liquidity back to be normal after Thanksgiving, though. Um, and, you know, I'm just watching this channel here. Uh, quickly here on the NASDAQ, I think this one is uh, uh, quite interesting, too, because I had our channel. Uh, we broke above our channel but we keep breaking back below. Uh, some of you might not like to use channels. That's you know entirely up to you. Uh, I like to focus a lot on the market structure here. Uh, but a lot of people that have been using the channels are claiming that hey, you know, a break above the channel and then a break back below is actually quite bearish or, or a fake out. So uh, let's keep our eyes out on the Nasdaq. It's just a bit not the one I really like. I like the S and P better, like in terms of the daily chart structure. But here, you know, you have your higher low pretty much at 16,000, um, and we're technically bullish, you know, as long as we stay above that 16,000 uh, zone, and maybe, uh, you know, I have this basically previous record high level that we broke out above, you would, you know, you'd want to see this pullback to retest before taking off, but instead we close below, so there could be some more weakness here on the tech side, so you can sort of here look at the four-hour charts to get your nice uh, support and resistance levels and play that four-hour chart if you want. Uh, I'm actually more interested in two other indices. One is the Dow Jones and uh, the Russell 2000. Quickly here on the Dow Jones, uh, we broke above record highs here back in October, pulled back to retest on late in late October, October 28th, continued our rally, and now we have pulled back to retest uh, this zone, what used to be resistance, now support for a third time. So, you know, one touch, two touch, three touch, okay, four touches here, uh, but it's a very important support zone. And uh, we actually did indeed see buyers step in. Uh, yes, well, on the 23rd, uh, we did see buyers step in here again on the 24th. So it's a good opportunity for uh, a long here on the Dow Jones with your stop loss nestled below this daily wick candle. You know, you like to see these wicks because um, it's a good sign of where the buyers are basically stepping in and hammering out uh, a bottom, even though technically that's not the best hammer chart. But let's take it down here on the four hour chart um, and you can sort of see things a bit better here. Uh, we have our lower highs, lower lows, and uh, we, you know, again, take a look at that hammer candle, that four hour candle. That's uh, pretty much a thing of beauty. Uh, what you sort of want to see on these retests of big support zones here at the 35,500 zone on the Dow Jones. So I'm keeping an eye out on this. I think, uh, you know, you could have taken an early entry on that daily candle close. Uh, I'm watching for a four hour candle close here because, you know, I'm just a bit more of a conservative and maybe a coward trader. Uh, but I just want to get uh, a bit more confirmation there. Nestle my stop losses below that daily zone and then ride. Uh, and, you know, the interesting thing, folks, is obviously if the SPY and the NASDAQ do pull back deeper to retest their previous uh, high zones that they haven't pulled back to retest, unlike the Dow, and then we'll take a look at the Russell, 
Uh, perhaps that means the Dow is going to head a bit lower, maybe to 34,750. So just be cautious of that. And that's why, you know, I claim or I said, you know, you have your stop losses nestled there um, for a trade, right? As a trade, I think it's prudent to have your stop loss there. Uh, ride this into new record highs if you want to play that route. Um, the Russell or the U.S. small caps, uh, the market's just been ranging basically all year since February of 2021. We finally got that breakout recently. Uh, we got that breakout there on that candle on November 1st, so the beginning of this month. Uh, we ripped out higher and then we pulled back. Uh, some people would draw their support actually right here because you can see here we have multiple touches here, which used to be a resistance zone um, and it would be new support. We really didn't hold above that zone. Uh, but I chose to draw my zone a bit lower because I just think there's a bit more touches here. And this is the this is the thing, right? When you get multiple support and resistance levels like this, uh, this is why I stress, you know, zones, right? And I use the blue sort of um, uh, rectangles here. Uh, but I like to, you know, place my levels then in areas that have seen so many touches. So if I drag this trend line uh, a bit further back, uh, I think you get plenty more touches here, right? Compared to the three touches that you would have gotten up there so i think this is a, a very important zone to watch and as you guys can sort of see just like sorcery or just like magic but we did get um wicks here two hammer wicks so that is also indicating that buyers are stepping in there and uh, just like the dow you know bulls are hammering out a bottom here and you could place your stop losses below those wicks and ride this for a next higher low swing um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down here on the four hour chart, just like I am with the Dow Jones and just wait for a break above this, uh, resistance zone here. So you have your nice double bottom range here. We're getting a nice little shift here on my moving averages. And again, you know, I say that folks, I just want to wait for that break because what could technically happen is, you know, we just continue to range, right? And that would be boring. That would sort of suck. And if uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ do pull a bit higher or uh, pull back a bit lower, then perhaps we do end up making that breakdown below. Uh, so I just want to see um, this nice little pop here on the Russell and the Dow on the four hour charts. But as I said, both of the daily charts uh, do look good and I don't want to take or I don't want to be too complicated, but they do sort of remain below my moving averages, uh, which has me a little bit uh worried but if we do get a nice four hour close and a substantial push on the daily close i think we would uh take retake and close back above these moving averages so keep your eye out on the dow jones keep your eye out here on the russell 2000 uh especially where they are uh and uh, just keep your eye here also on the s p which just continues to range between 46.50 here and 47.10 um that's it for me, folks. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to follow us at all our social media links provided in the description box below. If you are a trader, if you love markets, if you love investing, uh, join us. We are live or I'm live every day on the Equity Guru free Discord channel where we talk about all sorts of markets, currencies, cryptocurrencies, uh, stocks, TSX stocks, American stocks. Um, so join us over there and you can even chat with me live in person. Um, that's it for me, folks. I want to know what you guys think of the equity markets here. Do we continue to make record high after record high after record high? Or are we building a bit of a top here before we pull back? Um, or do you guys think this is the actual top uh, for bearish market heading into 2022? Uh, let me know. I really want to hear your thoughts and I'll catch you all in the next video.